But more than a half dozen states, in fact, all of them controlled by Democrats, are pushing for higher taxes on the wealthy. In New York, a new mansion tax on multi-million dollar properties that starts in July is expected to raise more than $300 million a year and will help the state fund its latest $175 billion budget. Now, New York Governor Phil Murphy is also pushing a broader millionaire's tax to pay for preschool and education. The state already imposes a top tax rate of 10.75% on those making more than $5 million. He would actually expand that group to include those making over $1 million. Now, Murphy said it would, quote, ensure tax fairness for the middle class. In Connecticut, Democrats in the legislature are supporting a statewide property tax and also increasing its top tax bracket by half a percent to 7.5%. Illinois governor and billionaire J.B. Pritzker, friend of this show, wants to replace the state's flat income tax, where everyone used to pay 4.95%, with a more progressive income tax, where those who make the most pay the most. And in California, a new bill would put a state a state tax on the ballot. That adds to the 14 states that currently have a state a state tax. New Mexico just passed a bill that would raise the top tax rate for those making 315000 to 5.9%. That's up a percent. And in Washington state, legislators are, are seeking a new tax on the sale of stocks and bonds over $200,000, which it said would raise $2.7 billion over the next four years. A top Democratic legislator there saying the tax would, quote, not even make a dent in their wealth.